Welcome to a whole new adventure in a game called Unpacking. I'm Dear Darling and an entire story awaits us as we unpack the details together. Yes, so this is the, the new series I suppose following on from Cosmic Express in the puzzle game slot. We are playing Unpacking. Uh, I know this is much more relaxing, it's sort of like a story based esque sort of game um, where you sort of unpack things. Okay, that, that's not the right button to click. Um, I don't really know what else to entail so I say, suppose this book belongs to dear no, dear darling Let, let's put my full name in there yep that's definitely my full official legal name um as we get on it's meant to be quite zen um I know there's meant to be like a story 1997 that's when I was born oh my word <laughs> but, uh, so I could really get into the character shoes but sorry before we get started I know this is like an atmospheric sort of game it's a, it's not that puzzle heavy um I think the puzzle is more about like figuring out where to put things um but it's meant to be sort of quite atmospheric quite story driven as we slowly piece together the um the ideas about this person's story and things like that so um yeah i guess we can zoom in zoom out uh, i changed some of the settings around so hopefully it's fine hopefully things are audible but i don't know why my instinct every single time is always going through settings but let's just have a look around um well we've got some nice things like this we can't draw the curtains Ooh. we can put things under the bed noted um but this is a really nice looking bunk bed, I'm going to be honest. So open this up, open this up. Oh, a, a book. Um, let's put books here. In. Let's make a nice little bookshelf. And what's this? A soccer ball? <sighs> Jeez. Uh, where, where did I put a soccer ball? I don't really play soccer all that much. I, I guess down here makes sense. Oh, a frog plushie. Um, can, can we like rotate it? Oh, yes, we can. Right click. Um, I like to often put all my plushies on a shelf, so that's why I put things. Oh, like a My Little Pony character or something. Um, okay, bigger things at the bottom, smaller things at the top. Action hero of some sort. What is this? I don't even know what that is, to be honest. Like a, a hippo? Looks like from a Street Fighter game or something. I'm going to assume you're all from the same series. So yeah, um, but there's no like right and wrong, I believe, in this game. It's sort of just like you put down what you want to put down. You put down things where you think they should go, which is fantastic for me because I love organization I love <laughs> things like this so of course this is exact almost like exactly right up my alley this seems like a small thing which I would put like on a desk or something okay rucksack this is absolutely where, where would I put a rucksack let me think I, I would put it somewhere where I can easily grab it and go every go like to school or something um it needs to have easy access so I can grab like my books etc etc a trophy okay so it seems we're a football player. Already not me. I've lost all sense of um what's the word? Relatability with a character because I was not that sporty back in school. Okay. Makeup no, okay, I thought there was a makeup brushes. No, these are probably um just art supplies. So I I mean we'll put it on our desk because that makes the most sense to me. I I wanna see like I wanna like change a camera angle. Oh wow, we can like zoom in really far. That's too that's too far. Um that zoom back. Ruler, okay, that's obviously something which goes on the desk, excuse me. Okay, so we can't put things down in a place we can't see them. Noted. So instead we'll put this like over here. A secret diary. Okay, that is perfect, I think, for underneath a pillow. Where else would you put a secret diary? Crayons. Um, or like felt tips or something. Like there's not a lot of room on this desk to, to place them, to be honest. A book. Okay. Like essentially no room whatsoever uh, to place things. Okay, and nice little happy horse painting. I think we'll put this, we'll put this here so we can wake up. No, actually, I don't like it. I'm gonna put it here. We, I, I feel like we might get more of them, more drawings. So I'll put it up there to sort of like, you know, you can wake up and be like, oh, you know, that's art I created. We can always put like our, our most favorite art piece up there or something. Um, okay, piggy bank. I mean, that that screams like there for me. We haven't got many books, I'm going to be honest. I mean, there's another book. Simon says. Jeez. Um, I, can, I can go down here. Put the games away, you know. A dreidel? Okay. Um, I don't I don't really know where to put a dreidel, I'm going to be honest. I, I don't... Is it something you use often or is it something you don't use? Because I feel like you only use it during festivities, right? I'm not an expert in Judaism, so forgive me if I'm wrong. So I'm going to put it like... You know, it's a small enough thing. You know, I, I can I can see myself like um, spinning it sort of just randomly, like while I'm I'm sitting down doing homework, like looking at this. I'm I'm guessing this person is probably like somewhere the age of eight to twelve, 
I can see myself like sort of like fiddling with it while I'm like trying to think of like how to write something. Rubik's cube. Now this is my jam. Also, can, can we solve this? Excuse me? Unsolvable? G give me a mini game. I can solve this in a heartbeat. Not in a heartbeat, but still. <laughs> um, in fact, I, I have a Rubik's cube just like on the shelf next to me, like <laughs> to the left. So I guess it's not too uh, inaccurate. Okay, you, you always want to put like the bin next to your workspace, but I, I can't seem to put things... I can put things on the, the chair, that's quite funny. Um, over here, oh I can, oh I can tag it underneath the desk, lovely. What's this, like a, a chessboard, a backgammon? I was never particularly good at chess when I was younger. What even is this? Procedure, operation, procedure. Okay, stack it up because this one's bigger than that one. Oh, get out of here box. Oh, we have a drawer. That's it. That seems like something, this should go in here. This is always how I store my things, so. Okay, what, what else is in here? More action figures? quite small let's put that there a tamagotchi this is the sort of thing I, I would keep really close on hand because tamagotchis are so needy needy they, they need your attention like all the time <laughs> that, that's a cool duck plushy oh i mean this is a one which is in uh like the splash not the splash out of the game but the the actual um what you call it the title screen of the game so i assume this is like our favorite toy so i'm gonna put pop you over there on the bed i assume we sleep with you oh that's adorable um it's not really enough room to really put you anywhere apparently we really like pigs so i guess we'll put things down like this what's this a book is enough room to put the book here kind of it's quite a big book though okay take what simon says pop the simon says over here i don't even know what book this is like a fairy tale book or something maybe Oh, a stereo. Um, jeez, there's, there's, there's like no room for a stereo anywhere. Okay, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to think we're gonna have to think about this in a sec. Or now. Okay, trophy. You go up here. Turns out some of these toys you're gonna have to move over here. Me thinks. Just so we can have room for the stereo, because my heart's a stereo. Also, the music has stopped, which is a bit, you know, have I taken too long? What is it? Oh, that's cassettes. Okay, I was like, what is this? Um. I would put the cassettes next to the tape recorder or the stereo deck or whatever. And I'd put like papers here, probably. I can see myself doing that. Just a load of books. Let's get all the books out first. Okay, so now we can start to put these in colorific order. Because I like to order books by, well, name makes most sense first, but what's this a book even about? Is this like a Dr. Seuss book? I didn't even look at them properly. An elephant book? Why is the music stopped? You, you can't tell me that people don't take this long to organise their room. <laughs> I mean, this is something I would put in the drawers, but I'm not sure if there's enough room in the drawers anymore. So I guess we'll, we'll, we'll leave a ruler out. No, the ruler fits so well in there. I've got to put it in there. So I guess we keep that there, like next to our stationery. An eraser. A eraser, eraser you always need on hand. Also, that is a chunky, chunky eraser. That's huge. Also known as rubber in the UK. That is adorable. You're too big though to go anywhere. Um, you're so big. Like I'm, I'm gonna have to think where to put you. Oh, can I? I can't put you on the thing. I'm not gonna put you on the desk. That's that's outrageous. I guess I had to put you up here on the bed, but you're just too big to fit anywhere. <laughs> you're huge. What even is this? Oh, it's a poster. It's like a. What am I looking at? I was going to say, it looks like a dog unicorn or something, like a dog centaur or something, but I was like, that doesn't make sense. Why would you have a dog centaur? <laughs> like, what, what is this? Like, this is obviously a very cute dog. It kind of looks like a neopet, I'm going to be honest. Uh, a cute dog, but I don't know what this, like, melting sludge is at the side. Cute little rainbows. Very, very sort of like Lisa Frank-esque, isn't it? Um, so I guess I'll put that there. Another book on, what's that, like, Nosferatu? Vampire Diaries Twilight, who knows? Some space book? I want to put it exactly there. A Game Boy. Okay, this is this is something like I would put like down here like this. Oh, another little like, kitty cat. I like this one. I think this is my favorite. I think of all the plushies thus far. It gets its own special compartment. Like what's this? Like Call of Cthulhu or something. We we really like like a eldritch monstrosities or something or horror. What is this? Oh, it's a camera. Um, achievement unlock makes some memories. Okay. Oh, it has to basically go there. What a torch. I assume this is a nightlight. Um, can we, like, yeah, okay. I don't know why you'd sleep on the torch, but still. What's this? 
survival guide? Probably. A little, just a little, a little bus. Okay, but, but that goes here. This this feels so sort of like on brand, like for how I organize my shelves because it's not like I get an entire shelf full of exactly the same thematic thing. Sometimes there's going to be like weird mixes. So it's just like, oh, you know, I got like a London bus next to, <laughs> like some Pokemon. Like even on my um, like window sill right now, I've got like a sunshine buddy, which is basically like a car ornament, which is solar powered and it just sort of rocks its head back and forth and is, is all smiley and all that. I've got like a, a a toy little deer from Japan. I've got um, like a half a half mug from Santorini, which I I didn't even go to. My parents got for me. Um, and you might be like a half mug. Yeah, it's literally like imagine you took a mug and then just like chopped it in half. Like so, it's like a half cylinder. I don't know why I, it's quite decorative, but still. Okay, let's put this in here. It's quite big. And that's everything. Am I happy with how things are organized? What would I want to change? This dreidel was very precariously nearly off the edge. And I'm a bit worried about this piggy bank, to be honest. I don't like how cluttered this desk is. I would never have my desk... Like, you need... Well, we need to put, like, some other things away, I would say. But, like, part of me is like, let's put this cassette away. But you, you can't. There's not enough room. I guess we could do it like this. It's just too cluttered over here. But now it's too empty over here. Okay, how about we do this? No. I like it better that way around. I'll put, put this more in the corner, I think. Okay, am I happy with this arrangement? Let's do this just so we can see it better for whatever picture we take. Um, I think this is fine. I don't think I'd put the troll doll here, there. I, I think the troll doll can go on the miscellaneous table. I I'm going to be honest, I, I never really was that big a fan of troll dolls. Um, they just sort of were, in my mind. They just sort of existed. And then we can move the camera backwards a bit. Still not really enough room. So I'd probably put the camera over here. That's not very great for the, for the shot, isn't it? So let's bring it out a little bit. I want to move my chair. I want to put the drawer on this side and then put my chair on this side. But that can't happen. So take a picture. Can we zoom out? What's this? Oh, no HUD. Frame? Interesting. Oh, we can put filters on and everything? Okay. Why, why, why don't we take pictures of things? What on earth is that? It's like pages of stickers. It's crazy. Okay, okay, we we need to make this look like a retro sort of photo because that's how old it is. I wish we could like have a zoom in and out in between these two. I want to get like most of the room in, but I don't want to get everything in. I guess I guess I'll take a picture of the whole thing just for sort of like remembrance sake. Make it old fashioned. Black and white. That's how old it is. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! We can, we can have. Oh, we can have intensity of a photo. Oh, brilliant! Well, still, we're very retro right now, so it's black and white. Oh, we can make a magazine, a comic. I don't even know what this one is. Like a phone screen? Okay. A Polaroid. There we go. Okay. Note to self: um, taking the photo uh, pops up on your screen saying uh, where it saved it to. So, uh, and that is revealing stuff about me. So I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna pause recording. I suppose every time I take a photo. But there we go. And I just need to keep that in mind. Lovely and a nice little room, I think. This dragon is really cool. This dragon is really intricate for like a kid's plushie. I've never seen one so intricate. I don't know if we can go out here or anything, but I don't know. So what what we learned about our protagonists, they like to read, they're really good at football. Um, I don't know, they just seem like your average kid, to be honest. I don't know if we can draw too many conclusions. They're, they're quite artistic. They have a lot of art supplies, far more than I did at, far more than I had at my age. So maybe that's something we can take into account. Nice little star. And added to the sticker pack, add it, add it to the photo album. Finally, my own room. Beginning. What's this called? A quick playback. Oh, I see. <laughs> that, that's such, such a cool thing. We can see like how I arrange things. Oh. <laughs> it's very satisfying to listen to. It, it sounds like a, like a bum bum ba bum 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 bum. Like well, the cup song, that sort of thing. <laughs> With everything jumping around. It's actually quite beauty in the beast desk, isn't it? It's like, be our guest, be our guest. Put our service to the test. <laughs> the tiny little leapfrogs. Get me. 
Oh, that's adorable. How do I get out of here? Beautiful. What does this mean? Start over. No. Um, sticker book. Wow, there's so many stickers. Beginning? Wow. Heck yeah. Lesson three. Independence. And a sometimes food. There's so many stickers. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we'll, we'll do that when we, we come to it, I suppose. Oh, we're going to have three books of this thing? How many rooms are we going to make? That's fantastic. May 1997. I wasn't alive back then, so unfortunately, this person is not me. 2004. That is a huge jump. Seven years. What? That is crazy. I don't think we're going to finish unpacking this entire thing today, but... Oh my god, this is like our first apartment? Seven years later? Okay, so this must be university time, so we're probably 18, so we're probably 11 in the first first thing. Um, okay, we've got a lot of stuff to unpack. Let us... Let's start with a kitchen. I think I always start with a kitchen, to be perfectly honest. Mug? Um... I don't really know where to put... Hold, hold on, we, we got to explore. What's in here? Okay, cutlery drawer. Anything drawer. Bin. Cupboard. Fridge. Can't put stuff in fridge. Okay, I would put a cup. Where would I put a cup? I would do, like, plates and stuff over here. This would be, like, miscellaneous things. And this would be, like, large, like, saucepans or food items or whatever. This I would put, like, dish dish soap and liquids and chemicals, etc. And, yeah, I mean, stuff like that. So this is a cup I'd probably use quite often, so I'd put it over here. We can open this as well. What's in here? What's that? <laughs> we just put it in the sink. Um, I want to hang it from a handle. Oh, okay. We, we've got a nice little hook. Didn't even see that. Wonderful. Forks. Where would I put things? See, I put chopsticks in here. And I put, like, forks and knives. And then I put small things in here. But um, I guess I'll put forks there. Put knives here. The right way around. And spoons. Another dishcloth. Uh, okay, I, I guess I would put this in here. As a spare one. Soap. Soap. Soap's always out. Put it always on the sink because you always need it. This is washing up liquid, but always always out as well. Was that bug repellent? Okay, that can go underneath here. No, I like it the other way around. Soap this side. Washing up liquid that side. What is this? Oh, it's a grill. Um. I mean, that's so big. I would, like, never use this. Okay, you're you're going up here. And you're going down here. I like make it. I, I like use it sometimes to make like cheese toasties, but very rarely. I want to put this vertically. Why? Why can I not put this vertically? You're wasting so much space like this. All right, chopping board. You're going in here now. Saucepan. Okay. What? It's too hard to arrange things. I have too many things. There's no way I'm going to put a saucepan there. Are you out of your mind? What? Why? why <laughs> like put it. Rotate it. Why can I not rotate it the other way? Does that have a handle sticking out slightly? Um, okay, I guess we can put it here like we're cooking something. Oh my god, that's huge. I can basically only go up here. I don't know what we're going to put up here, which would need to be that vertical. Like, my initial instinct was I'm going to put things like cereals up there, but... What? <laughs> Why would I put it like this? <laughs> Who would put it like that? It's out of your mind. What's this? Oil? That's, that's probably olive oil. Okay, well, we're going to have to have a bit of a rearrangement. I, I wouldn't put that up there. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remain true to myself. I would probably put the chopping board up there. I would probably put the saucepan down here. You can barely even see it. Maybe we should move a, a George Foreman grill over there and do something like that. And then... See, <laughs> see, I would have another cupboard to put oil in. Um, but that's not that's not going to be possible. So I think we'll use this upper one. This upper layer for cups. Now this looks like a mug I would use more often. So put that near the front for now. Um, just a load of tiny cups. Sugar. I mean, this, this seems like a countertop sort of thing. A cookie jar? Um, <laughs> I would, oh, we can put things up here. Okay, what, oh, okay, grill, you're going up there. Because you're going up here with stuff I never use. Um, a sometimes food. That's what a cookie is. Plates. Okay. Plates would... I don't want to put... I guess we'll do this. A bowl. Okay. Another bowl. Stack them. Stack them. What, what else we got in here? A keyboard? That, that, that goes in here. Are you out of your mind? Why, why on earth is that in here? <laughs> it's just... Bowl. Cup. 
Okay, more glasses up here. Like a Coke glass or something. A, a big steak knife, I guess, goes in here. Wooden spoon. Okay, I, I would not put them that way around. Put them this way around. A handle out, please. Are you trying to injure yourself? This is very important, by the way. Wait, well, I can open it? Okay, that can go near the back. Sponge. That, that, that stays out. A kettle. Um, it's an electric kettle, so we put it over here. Next to a thing. Also, I, uh, I was thinking, it's like, this seems like a British game. <laughs> by the, the plug sockets in the first place, but... Uh, a shoe. Okay. Potato peeler. That goes in here. Certainly. Um, now how many mugs do we have? A lot of tea mugs, eh? We do like tea. Um, well, I'd stack it on top of that, but seeing as that's not an option. Right, I don't want to put the oil here. Well, we're going to have to find a good place for this oil. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. You can, like, block yourself. <laughs> that's pretty fun. Um, I guess the oil goes down here next to the saucepans. It's more plates. In which case, I'd, I'd rather put the bowls here than put the small plates over here. Salt. Sugar and salt, they, they just go on the, the, the kitchen counter, I think. What is this? Coffee? Um, I don't really drink coffee. We don't really have enough room on this kitchen counter anymore, but I guess it kind of has to go there. Ah, uh, kitchen roll. That, that can go out there. I, I would probably put that on the kitchen counter. Is my only contention with it. So maybe we can put this stuff like up here. I don't. I think the salt's too big. 8.43 a.m. I'm going to have to think about this a bit more. More spoons? How can we possibly have more spoons? I don't even know what this is. Oh, that's probably cling film. Alright, that, that can go down there. Spare sponges? That goes under the sink, absolutely. Uh, silicon spatula? That should probably be in here, but I don't know if there's enough room in there anymore. I was just about. Okay, wonderful. Why do we have one shoe in here? <laughs> Who packed this? Who put a keyboard in here? Who put a shoe in there? Um, we have more space underneath here, which I'm more inclined to put things. Like, I think we can put... Oh, uh, no. Like, I would I would leave a kettle on the counter. It's quite a small counter, so I guess we've got to make do what we got. I guess we put the saucepan down here. That's probably... That's not saucepan, sorry, but like but the pot down here. Put the saucepan here. And the oil next to it because we, we kind of have no other place to put it. Um, I think that's fine. I put the bug repellent quite like far in. And far up. Well, I guess it's too tall. Like, you can't. So do that just to keep things spread out. I want to like hang this off the side like of a counter. Or like put it on the... the now. Mm. This is such a waste to do that. We we gotta leave a chopping board somewhere else because like why why would we do that when we could do this? Or like put put a cookie jar up here, something like that. I don't want to leave things up here because it gets it's gonna get so dusty out there. And plus now I think about it, we might even get more more things later. Like I I would put the chopping board sideways in in this part of the thing, but that seems to be not an option. Which I find strange and unusual. It doesn't really go anywhere else though. I guess we can move the mugs like this probably. And then we can slot it up here. What? I just want to put this chopping board away, okay? Okay, prob probably what I do is I put the kitchen towel down here then. It's such, it's such a waste to put it down like that. That can be like my favourite mug or something. Like, why would you not put it sideways? I can't get over it. Anyway, it's been like 20 minutes, so I think we should round this episode of here. So, for now. So, if you have been watching, thank you very much for spin uh, unpacking I've been dear darling. Likes, comments, subscriptions, shares are greatly appreciated. Twitter, Discord down below. Hope you see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So, until next time, bye-bye for now.